It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie The Legends and it's a bottle of their Ambiorix Brown Ale coming in at 8% ABV. There's a look at the label. It's a 330 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Jeez, look at this! Bottle of foam. Beer everywhere, honestly. Beer all over my hands. Look, covered, covered in beer. Literally all over my t-shirt. All over the floor. If you like this beer, don't open it over your cream carpet. See, it's, it's even at the window. Blimey. I'm <laughs> wet hand beer review. Uh, one finger slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation, as you can imagine. A dark brown, hazy looking, unfiltered beer. Let's get the aroma. Smells really good. When I have a gusher like that that explodes everywhere, I, I get my nose in and I'm looking for an infection. I'm looking for off flavors, wondering why the beard exploded. And there's, there's no obvious aroma of an infection. There's no cabbage, there's no rotting vegetables, there's no diacetyl. It smells like a really good brown ale. Maybe it was just really excited to get into my glass and it got a little bit overexcited and blew up everywhere. Uh, we're all guilty of that sometimes, yeah? Uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, of course, you could see by the opening, there's quite a lot of carbonation. But other than that, it's a really solid, solid, good, lovely, wonderful brown ale at 8% ABV. It's a real shame it blew. Carbonation really kind of hisses and fizzes in your mouth. There's a nice level of kind of biscuit malt that kind of underlays, underlies and, and just lets you know all the way through the flavour that it's a lovely biscuity malty brew. It's nutty. Really nutty and biscuity and bready like you've walked down the down the road in a, in a French village, and you, and you can smell that baked baguette, freshly kind of made for you almost. It's that lovely aroma. But then it goes over to plum and fig and prune and and the the, the lovely hops that they've used in the beer has balanced off nicely with that biscuity, bready nuttiness, and it's kind of clashed and become plum, fig, prune with the with the flavor it's a really really nice beer i'd stand here and say stone the crows i really would but it it's made a right mess it really has i 
and to the point, to the point where I've opened it and I don't even think I mentioned my channel sponsor, beersofeurope.co.uk, largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. Check out the link in the description box of the video for beersofeurope.co.uk, a wonderful, wonderful online beer store. They've got a shop down in Norfolk and they've just launched a brand new website. It looks really good. Uh, what does it say? This beer is re-fermented in the bottle and 100% all natural. So I'm at the point now where I'm like, okay, it's re-fermented in the bottle. It's a live beer. These things can happen to the best of us. The very best of us. Let's rate it. If it wasn't for the crazy explosion, I'd be calling this a nine out of 10 all day long. Um, because it's potentially ruined my, my cream rug, my sheepskin <laughs> carpet or whatever, um, then, then I'm gonna take it down to an eight out of 10. I think that's fair, I think that's fair. Uh, thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.